And this is the law of the guilt offering. It is a holy of holies. You shall slaughter the guilt offering in the place where they slaughter the burnt offering, and his blood shall be dashed upon the altar around. And all of its fat he shall offer from it, the tail and the fat covering the innards, and the two kidneys along with the fat that is upon them, which is on the flanks and the diaphragm with the liver, along with the kidneys he shall remove it. And the Kohen shall cause him to go up and smoke on the altar as a fire offering to the Lord. It is a guilt offering. Any male among the Kohenim may eat it, it shall be eaten in a holy place. It is a holy of holies. Like the sin offering, so is the guilt offering. They have one law, the Kohen, who effects atonement. Through it to him it shall belong. And the Kohen who offers up a person's burnt offering, the skin of the burnt offering which he has offered up, belongs to the Kohen, it shall be his. And any meal offering baked in an oven, and any one made in a deep pan or in a shallow pan, belongs to the Kohen who offers it up, it shall be his. And any meal offering mixed with oil or dry shall belong to all the sons of the Aaron, one like the other. And this is the law of the peace offering, which he shall bring to the Lord. If he is bringing it as a thanksgiving offering, he shall offer along with the thanksgiving offering unleavened loaves mixed with oil, unleavened wafers, anointed with oil, and scalded flour mixed with oil. Along with loaves or leavened bread, he shall bring his offering along with his thanksgiving peace offering. He shall bring from it one out of each offering as a separation for the Lord. The Kohen who dashes the blood of the peace offering, it shall be his. And the flesh of the thanksgiving offer, peace offering shall be eaten on the day it is offered up. He shall not leave any of it over until morning. But if it sacrifices a vow or a voluntary donation, on the day he offers up his sacrifice, it may be eaten, and on the next day, whatever is left over from it may be eaten. However, whatever is left over from the flesh of the sacrifice on the third day shall be burnt in fire. And if any of the flesh of his peace offering is to be eaten on the third day, it shall not be accepted. It shall not count for the one who offers it. Rather, it shall be rejected, and the person who eats of it shall bear his sin. And the flesh that touches anything unclean shall not be eaten. It shall be burned in the fire. But regarding the flesh, anyone who is clean may eat the flesh. A person who eats the flesh of a peace offering of the Lord, while his uncleanness is upon him, that soul shall be cut off from its people. And a person who touches anything unclean, whether uncleanness from a human or an unclean animal carcass or any unclean carcass of an abominable creature, and the, then eats of the flesh of a peace offering to the Lord, that soul shall be cut off from its people. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, You shall not eat any fat of an ox, sheep, or goat. The fat of carrion and the fat of an animal with a fatal disease or injury may be used for any work. You shall not eat it. For anyone who eats fat of animals from which sacrifices are brought as fire offerings to the Lord, the soul who eats it shall be cut off from its people. You shall not eat any blood in any of your dwelling places, whether from birds or from animals. Any person who eats any blood, that soul shall be cut off from its people. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Anyone who brings his peace offering to the Lord shall bring his sacrifice to the Lord from his peace offering. His own hand shall bring the fire offering of the Lord. The fat on the breast, he shall bring it the breast to wave it as a waving before the Lord. And the Kohen shall cause this fat to go up and smoke on the altar, and the breast shall belong to Aaron and his sons. You shall give the right thigh as an elevation offering to the Kohen from your peace offering. Any one of the sons of Aaron who offers up the blood of the peace offering and the fat, he shall have the right thigh as a portion. For I have taken the breast of a waving and the thigh of the elevation from the children of Israel from their peace offering, and I have given them to Aaron the Kohen and to his sons as an eternal statute from the children of Israel. This is the grant for Aaron's anointment and his 
son's anointment from the fire offerings of the Lord on the day that he brought them near to be Kohanim for the Lord, which the Lord commanded to give them on the day that he anointed them. From the children of Israel, this is an eternal statute for their generations. This is the law for the burnt offering, for the meal offering, and for the sin offering, and for the guilt offering, for the investitures, and for the peace offering, which the Lord commanded Moses on Mount Sinai. On the day he commanded the children of Israel to offer up their sacrifices to the Lord in the Sinai desert.